Hey, you guys. You know, I'm always going on about the power of making things, um, the power of learning by doing. Uh, I wanted to just do this quick video about my father-in-law. He's 84 years old. He's a printmaker, among many other things. And um, so I just wanted to share this influence on my life uh, and show you some of his work. So I'm here at their house in New York, and uh, I want to show you his art studio. Uh, Tom is a Buddhist, lifelong Buddhist, and so I just wanted to sh think a little bit about the influence too on me about health humanities, why I'm interested in the connection between art and suffering, art and healing. And I think Tom, Tom Wills is his name, I think he's had a profound effect on me. Um, so let me show you some of the work that he's done. So first of all, here we are in his shop where much of it happens in terms of his sculptural work. Uh, he works in wood, um, but he's also mainly a printmaker. Um, so this is just a shop. But the first thing I wanted to show you is this is something that he's keeping for Ukraine. Tom is acutely aware of suffering. And so he maintains this map of Ukraine and keeps modifying it based on Russian occupation. This is the sort of thing that he, he keeps busy and he makes. You know, he's constantly tinkering. He's constantly making things. Learning by doing. Learning by constantly having art projects. This is the seeming chaos of his workbench. <laughs> but he knows where everything is. He creates art that's meant to be interacted with. You can actually take this apart. You just pull this piece off and you can move these guys and rearrange it according to how you want it to be. He creates things on a whim and anything that he finds hanging around is, is a candidate for art. For example, he had an old sawmill blade and as he created this entire walkway, he used it as a design. He's 84, and he built this entire thing by hand, by himself. I'll show you a walkway that he's just completed, not this one, it goes down to his path. These pieces are made of wood, and he did it as an installation, in as a 9-11 memorial. He built these contraptions that held them that were two twin towers. These were all panels that hung together on these large 10 foot tall towers. His sense of color, his constant immersion in, in shape and color has just been such an inspiration to me. Here's just a wall inside his studio. I'll show you more of his workspace. Stained glass work that he does outside, all of his Buddhist prayer flags. He works in all kinds of materials. And these are some of the prints that he creates. He's fascinated by machinery, but he also does these incredible tributes to other artists. 
Picasso. He does weird, really strange wood and painted creatures. You should see this guy keeps a journal that he fills every single day with drawings and uh, colored pencil drawings of these beings. He basically has in his imagination all of these crazy beings and he sketches them out in daily journals that he's kept for 40 years. And I'll, I'll finish here by showing you the stairs that he just built. Before I go to the stairs, I wanted to show you another powerful piece. You know, Tom, for Tom, the world is a place of bounty, of possibility. And the plate, the humble plate that we eat off of is a symbol of that. And yet it's also fractured and shows the suffering of the world. Yeah, just a little project for an 84 year old guy. He poured all this concrete himself. Well, I got some help. And now let me introduce you to Tom. See if the sunlight will cooperate with me. So here's the guy. <laughs> Say hi, Tom.